afternoon, brethren and companions. Uh, and it's back to my to my weekly vlog. Now, there's no truth in the rumour that I wanted to do this again just to show off uh, the haircut that I've just had this afternoon. Uh, in fact, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, there's been a very exciting version of the First Rising. So exciting that it got sent out a week earlier than it was uh, expected. Um, as I'm sure, or as I hope all of you have, uh, have now read, uh, the Masonic suspension has not been re renewed by the uh, Most Worshipful the Grand Master, so Masonic activity can start uh, on the 17th of July. Um, uh, of course, most lodges don't normally meet until September, so unless they, for whatever reason, uh, choose to have an emergency meeting uh, sometime over the summer, or of course, if they ordinarily meet over the summer anyway, we're not really expecting many lodges to meet till September, um, but suspension will be over on the 17th of July. I can't emphasise too much though that government and local regulations must be followed. If those are not followed, uh, I'm afraid Masonic disciplinary action will definitely follow. Uh, we must abide by the law and by local regulations. Um, you've probably seen uh, detailed guidance on how uh, ceremonies can be uh, done under the current social distancing and, and various uh, hygiene regulations that exist. Um, they weren't all printed in the um, uh, in the first rising, uh, because first rising goes to entered apprentices uh, as well as um, uh, you know, brethren uh, who are past masters or, or master masons. So the provincial office has detailed guidance on how to do firsts, seconds installations in the craft and the Royal Arch and how to open and close uh, the Royal Arch uh, as as well. Um, at this stage uh, we don't anticipate third uh, degrees raisings uh, being carried out under present uh, conditions. Uh, obviously further guidance will follow if uh, the situation improves further and allows us to do that. Um, so uh, the, the office has uh, as I say, further details, uh, and we're reviewing exaltations as well on a sort of constant basis. We don't think those can be done either under present constraints, uh, but we're, we're looking at it. Now, the Deputy Provincial Grand Master, uh, very much brother David Dyson's group, uh, of course, uh, was aware uh, that this was coming, but not necessarily aware that it was coming this Monday. We we're expecting it next Monday. So there'll be follow-up uh, guidance uh, if we think there are any particular sort of Cheshire spins uh, needed to be put on uh, what's come out from uh, from UGLE um, we will uh, let that uh, go and uh, wish brother Stephen Kinsey's group he's the warden for halls the sonic halls so they will be sending out again uh, f further advice for halls including an offer of assistance with those halls in doing the necessary uh, health and safety sort of COVID-19 risk assessment that will be required before any hall uh, can open. Um, I've got to emphasise. I mean, this is it's all it's, it's good news, and we're all we're all delighted that uh, things are starting to uh, get back to normal. But this isn't normal. We're, we're not returning to normal. Uh, meetings are restricted to thirty. There's no dining. Uh, vulnerable brethren, uh, elderly brethren, uh, must uh, stay away. Um, and the previous notice that went out about Provincial Grand Lodge still stands. It will be a restricted meeting taking place in October uh, by invitation only. But at least, brethren, companions, uh, this is a start. And, you know, it means that you know, we, we will get back to normal, um, but not quite there yet. But at least we can start doing something. You know, initiations can take place, meetings can take place about subscriptions and about the various things that have all been put on hold uh, over uh, this um, you know, terrible uh, period that we've just uh, just gone through. Anyway, on a personal level, it's uh, my, my uh, 47th wedding anniversary coming up on Wednesday. So we're going to go out to a restaurant for the first time in, uh, in many, many months. Uh, I had my first time on the golf course in eight years uh, last Saturday and uh, that was uh, some some good uh, enough to get me back again um, yeah, some rubbish as well it has to be said um, but I'm building up towards a, a big money game 
Uh, my son's coming up uh, on at the end of July. Um, so there's a big money game. Uh, I think we'll, there'll be at least 10 a hole uh, riding on this and, and probably uh, I'll end up paying anyway. So uh, companions, brethren, keep safe, keep well. Uh, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel.